You can't want to fuck with your power. You perform me record, and there is nothing that's impossible. And now we're standing here only because you made, because you moved. Out. Pastor, I wrote this song three years ago. We're in the hospital. My wife's water broke halfway through her pregnancy at 21 weeks. And the doctor pulled me into the hallway. She said, Mr. Green, it's obvious your son didn't make it. She said, so we're going to take the baby out and you guys can go home and try again. We looked back at the doctor and we said, wait a minute, we trust God too much just to give up. I said, I said, I said, ma'am, is there anything we can do? She looked at me with a smile. She said, well, your wife could just lay here, but I'm telling you, your child literally has like 0% chance of making it. I said, well, if she can lay here, that means that we have time. And all my God needs is an opportunity. And I'm going to see the hand of the Lord move. That's why I say, when the doctor stands up, you say, y'all excuse me real quick.
don't know how, but you did it. I don't know how, but you did it. And I don't know why, but I'm grateful you made a way. Don't know why, but I'm grateful you made a way. And you move mountains, you call them all. You cause walls to fall in your town. But for me, there is nothing that's impossible. And now we're standing here. Right before I take my seat, I have to tell you, when I was four years old, we were living in Germany. And I fell four floors out of a window. It was just an accident and the doctors came and they covered me with a white sheet, Pastor Perry, and they, they pronounced me dead on the spot. And they said, we're sorry, there's nothing else we can do, he's gone. But how many people know it's never over until God says it's over? My mom picked up my lifeless body and you would have thought my mom was a member of World Harvest because she just had crazy faith like that. She picked up my lifeless body and she called on the name of Jesus twice. Nothing happened, but the third time she just snapped, man. She went old school. It might not make sense theologically, but it worked for me. She screamed the blood of Jesus. I gotta take my seat, but I need you to help find somebody and tell them the blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. And I, obviously God gave me back my life. That's not the crazy part. I'm about to bounce. Check this out. They kept me in the hospital for three days. As we were leaving, I said, Mom, I got to tell you what happened. She said, no, the doctors don't want us to talk about it because you can have a flashback and go into shock. And I'm four years old. I said, Mom, I got to tell you what happened. Finally, my, my dad said, just let the boy talk. I said, Mom, I remember falling four floors. I remember falling out the window. I'm four years old. I said, but Mom, I never hit the ground. I said, right before I hit the ground, there was a man with a big hand who caught me. I said, I couldn't see his face, but I heard a voice. He said, do you want to go home with your mom or come with me? I said, well, sir, I want my mom. He said, okay, this time you go with her, next time you come with me. And I'm four years old. I, I looked up and I said, asked him, I said, excuse me, wait, wait, sir, excuse me. What is your name? He didn't say my name was Buddha. He didn't say my name was Muhammad, but he looked back at that four-year-old and said, son, my name is Jesus. 